Hey guys, so as you may not remember, I work part-time on a project called Unity and I took on a bug, a JavaScript bug, and I thought I could do it quite easily and I thought it was actually really, really hard. And let me explain why I think it was hard. I mean, I know ES6, I think, okay. I, um, I, I usually code in, in a view file and the cool thing about a view file is everything's just like in one file, right? Now, meanwhile, in, in Meteor and React, a lot of things are in lots of files. And this is where I fell down, really. I really fell down. I couldn't have done this without um, some help. So as you can see, that the final patch involved, uh, I don't know, changes in four or five files. Um, and yeah, the, like, the, like for example, I, NeoVim users, please, please let me know, like, like if you, the way I usually like pull the string to figure out what how things are defined is like I usually go shift star and then I go through it and okay now I need to open up uh, uh, API comments. I would usually use GF but the, uh, that doesn't work because it doesn't end in uh, uh, JS so I use a picker. So I would go com uh, comments uh, dot JS and then I would maybe look at export. Um, this, in this case I know it's at the bottom and then I would and then I would, um, you know, study this and then maybe add a, a console log. Um, and then I might probably need to look at um, um, another, like if I wanted to look at this thing here, then I, I would open up several files. So basically, I, I had like four or five uh, files open. And, and then the next problem I had was that, like, how do you move betwe between the files quickly? Because if I go, if I use my picker again, I, I end up opening another buffer, which I don't want. Um, so it, it really felt like a some sort of culture clash for, you, for me because I usually, if I'm working in C, if I'm working in Golang, if I'm working in, in my own world with Vue.js, I work with one file. And this whole import stuff in this Meteor uh, React.js project required me to open up several files and navigate between them very quickly um, I guess I need to start using Visual Studio here for this sort of job, but um, I'm just I'm making this video because I'm just curious if any of my my viewers have actually uh, work on a lot of files in this fashion. Uh, productivity, pr product. If anyone out there productively develops using NeoVim on a JavaScript project like this, I'm very curious to learn uh, about that. Okay. Um, that's it. That's all I have to share. JavaScript is an awesome. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Bye.